Hello, welcome to Richard Banker Web Design Tutorials. Today we're looking at, uh, we're going back and looking at Widget Kit here. It's a, a tool put up by Utheme, and Widget Kit does all sorts of cool things. Uh, they have slideshows, slide set, gallery, map, accordion, lightbox, spotlight, Twitter, and media player options that uh, allow you to do a variety of things. They have both a free and a paid version and uh, we're going to be looking at, I have the paid version here, we're going to be looking at all nine of these widgets as I'm able to, but today we're looking at the accordion. So let's say you want to have some functionality, something like this. Looks pretty simple, pretty standard, pretty easy to do. And uh, this is more of a Swiss Army knife type idea of there's a whole bunch of things in here. But let's look at if you've purchased Widget Kit and you're looking at how to do all these things, uh, we're going to go through that right now. So starting in the control panel, after we're installed, Widget Kit is at the bottom of the components. Now as a part of Widget Kit, there's all your different widgets that you can make. And here's the sample one that I made called Tutorials. And when we go to welcome here, we can see web design, print design, videography. When I click on them, it opens up and shows the text below. So to create a new uh, option here, we just say add new. Or we also have the option of using Joomla. For this tutorial, we're just going to look at add new. Enter the name. I'll just call it sample. And we're just going to put some sample text in here. So if you wanted to, you could insert, just like a normal article, you could insert an image in here. You can insert, you know, links, all your normal standard text. Then you can go to the bottom and click Add New, and you can add as many of these as you want. I don't know why I'm choosing grocery items, but that is what we're doing. And we'll just do three just so you get the idea. Now all your settings are always on the right hand side. Auto collapse, no, yes. So if you click no, then when I click on this, you can see it auto collapse is the other one. If it was no, then that would stay open. So then it would just go down and then all three of them would be open. And you actually have to click on it to, to close it. Match content height, yes or no, uh, how wide you want it, your animation speed of how quickly it scrolls up and down, and the default order if it's random or default. Uh, this is your default order here. You can take and drag it up or drag it down and choose which one should go in which option. Uh, one thing I don't like about this you theme if you're watching this there's one thing I don't like you should change is that there's only a save button here so I hit save there should be a save and close so I have to hit save and then in order to get out I have to go cancel and then I can go out to this page now there's two ways to get your widget kit uh, your widget that you just created onto the front of your website the first option is you can use this short code So here on our welcome here, this is my welcome article. It's on the front page right here. You can see I've got welcome, and then I've dropped in this widget kit. So if I change this to 2, because that's the one we just created, and go save. So our sample is called widget kit ID equals 2. Well, that is what we put here. So now when I refresh this, can see we have fruit, eggs, and milk. And here you can see that this is set not to auto collapse. So when I click on them, it opens it up and it remains open. So that could be useful if you had some sort of questions that people needed both of them open, or you know, you could use this for frequently asked questions or things like that. Obviously you have something in mind because you're watching the video. Close. 
Uh, the second option that you have is that you can go into your module manager and when you install it there's one called widget kit. So here we have our widget kit template and all it does is it displays whichever widget you say. All of your options of how the widget displays some of them have a lot more options than other is all in the component here. All your module is going to do is just display it on the front end. So we're going to go to ProStar and we're going to choose we'll see where that shows up. So top center is what we selected. So here you can see it looks exactly the same as this down here. It's just it's in a module position instead of in an article. So you have options to do it both ways. So that's a very quick tutorial on how to use the accordion menu uh, in Widget Kit. Uh, by clicking this little red here, I can you can see I'm actually deleting, and I'm going to cancel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, like the video. I uh, appreciate uh, your comments. And if you have a question or you need a tutorial about something that you're having problems with, by all means, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see if we can help you out. Thank you. Have a great day.